Welcome to Remath. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow shaded region AEDF fully confined in a quarter circle, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the radius of this uh, quarter circle is uh, seven units and its uh, center is at point uh, B. And furthermore, this is our angle 90 degrees, whereas uh, this angle is 70 degrees this angle is 70 degrees as well this angle is 40 degrees and this angle is 30 degrees and now our task is to calculate the area of this yellow shaded region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, BDF. And we can see in this uh, triangle, this whole angle is going to be the sum of 30 degrees uh, plus 40 degrees is going to make uh, 70 degrees. So therefore, we can see that this uh, angle is congruent to this angle. Both of them are uh, 70 degrees. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, BDF uh, is an isosceles triangle so therefore we conclude that this side length uh, bd is going to be equal to this side length uh, fd and we can see that this uh, bd is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle so that is going to be seven units if this side length uh, is uh, seven then this other side length uh, fd is going to be seven units as well and now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem according to this theorem the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees in other words in this uh, triangle this angle plus uh, this angle plus this angle must be equal to 180 degrees so therefore we conclude that this uh, angle must be 40 degrees and here's our next step. Let's focus uh, this time uh, on triangle uh, ABE. And we can see that this uh, AB is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle. So this is going to be seven units. And likewise, uh, this uh, BE is the radius of quarter circle as well. So this is going to be seven units as well so therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle ABE is an isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, is equal to this uh, side length so therefore we conclude that these are uh, two triangles uh, triangle uh, BDF uh, and this uh, other triangle uh, ABE are congruent uh, triangles according to side angle uh, side congruency theorem since uh, these uh, two side lengths are congruent and the angle between them is uh, 40 degrees and likewise uh, for this other triangle uh, these two side lengths uh, are congruent and the angle between them is uh, 40 degrees uh, as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, triangular area is in common uh, between these uh, two congruent uh, triangles let me go ahead and label uh, this uh, area that is in common i'm going to call this area one and i'm going to label uh, this uh, yellow shaded area in this uh, triangle uh, a b e as uh, area number two and finally i'm going to label uh, this uh, green area as area number uh, three and since uh, these uh, two triangles are uh, congruent triangle, so therefore the area of this triangle ABE must be equal to the area of this uh, other triangle uh, BDF. And now we can see in this uh, triangle uh, ABE, the area is going to be the sum of this uh, one and two. So I can write uh, this uh, triangle ABE area as uh, one plus uh, area 2 and that is going to be equal to the area in this uh, other triangle BDF is going to be 1 plus uh, 3 let me go ahead and write down 1 plus uh, area 3 and now we can see this area 1 and this area 1 cancel each other out 
So therefore, we can see that this uh, area 2 must be equal to area 3. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, yellow shaded area over here is uh, same as uh, this area over here. So therefore, we can easily fill in this uh, yellow shaded uh, area over here as well. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, area of uh, this uh, region uh, AEDF uh, is going to be equal to this uh, sector area EBD. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, sector EBD whose uh, side lengths are the radius uh, of this quarter circle which are 7 and 7 and the angle between them is uh, 30 degrees. And now let's recall the area of a sector formula. Area equals to angle theta divided by 360 degrees uh, times uh, pi r square where r is the radius uh, of the circle. As you can see in this uh, diagram where uh, these are the radii and this angle theta is uh, between them. So therefore the area of this sector EBD we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So the area of this sector EBD is going to be in our case uh, our angle theta is 30 degrees. So I can write uh, 30 degrees uh, divided by 360 degrees times pi and our uh, radius is uh, 7. So I'm going to write down 7 whole square. And now we can see 30 degrees divided by 360 degrees is going to reduce to 1 divided by 12. So therefore the area of the sector EBD is going to be 1 divided by 12 times this 7 square is 49. So I'm going to write down 49 pi. So therefore the area of this sector uh, EBD is uh, going to be equal to let me go ahead and write down this thing as 49 pi divided by 12 square units. So that's the area of this uh, yellow shaded region uh, AEDF uh, turns out to be 49 pi divided by 12 uh, square units and that could also be written as approximately equal to 12.83 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye